Hello, I'm Jack Gregory, a local Cornishman, a stone hedger and stone mason by trade, which I've been doing for four years now. Um, the art of stone edging has been passed down to me from my dad. It was passed down to him from my granddad. Um, and the the art of stone edging is I, I love stone edging. It's a brilliant job. Stone edges all over Cornwall. Cornwall's famous for its stone hedge. There's something like over 30,000 miles of stone edging in Cornwall today. Some dating back up to, I think, the Neolithic period, up to 4,000 years ago, which would have then started as land clearance to create your boundary, basically, to show what is your land and, you know, fence off your, your part of the farm. Um, stone edge is a pretty simple structure, just stone and soil but they become part of the landscape once they're built. So a stone hedge is a living organism in itself. It's a habitat for insects, small animals, but also a lot of plants, a lot of vegetation will grow through the hedge over time and make it stronger as the roots grow through it. Um, I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful things once they've been there for a while and everything started growing through it and they've weathered. The worrying thing is that they're not actually protected. So as much stone hedging there is in Cornwall already, none of it's actually protected. So as a stone hedger, I like to think I'm working to rebuild these hedges as I go and, and keep it going, you know, keep the tradition alive as well of Cornish stone hedging. Because without these hedges, there's a lot of habitat lost as new developers come in. There's a lot of building going on in Cornwall nowadays. And it's a shame to see, one, a lot of fields, a lot of habitat gone, but also these hedges being knocked down all over the place and not really being replaced. So hopefully I can inspire a few more people to get into Cornish stone edging and build these habitats back.